Today's story is titled, The Ant and the Grasshopper. It says, a retelling of Aesop's fable. Aesop was a famous man who lived long ago who wrote lots and lots of fables. A fable is a story, usually with animals in it, that's supposed to teach a lesson. It's trying to teach us a life mm -hmm. lesson, something about life. Now, today's words are written by Mark White, and it's illustrated by Sarah Rojo. As we read, I want you to think about what lesson Aesop is trying to teach us today. The ant and the grasshopper. An ant once lived next to a grasshopper in a large field. The ant woke early each summer morning. He was a serious worker. From sunrise until sunset, the ant harvested food. He stored it in his home. Every morning, the grasshopper woke up singing. The grasshopper had a nice voice. He loved to make music all day long. He sang and danced. That sounds like fun. Boys and girls, look at his little shower head, the flower. That's super cute. Come, sing with me, the grasshopper said. Henry wants to sing with us today. Every time he saw the ant. I can't stop now, the ant always says. Say it with me. I can't stop now. Not even for one song, the grasshopper begged. Oh, it's such a lovely day. But the ant kept working. On rainy days, the grasshopper stayed home. He made up new songs to keep from being bored. The ant worked at home, storing up his food for winter. On one winter day, the grasshopper went outside to look for food. He found nothing to eat. The grasshopper knocked on his neighbor's door. He asked for some food. You spent all summer singing while I worked, the ant said. Now you can spend the winter dancing to keep warm. Look at all this food he's got because he worked so hard. Did the grasshopper work? Hmm. But you have food stored, the grasshopper said. Well, that's because I spent the summer getting ready for winter, the ant replied. There's a time for play and a time for work, Ant said. The end. What do you think the author is trying to teach us? I think the end sums it up pretty well. There's a time for play and a time for work. Who chose to work? The ant chose to work, right? Who chose to play? But I think the story goes deeper because let's look back. Okay. Let's say we are the ones who chose to work hard and we have all of this food and you won't even share a little bit. So I would also venture to say there's a time to be generous too. Do you think the ant should share with the grasshopper? Why or why not?